Carnival 74, pilot uh, 3974. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. It's time for ABC's Carnival 74. great audience. Hello to all of you and welcome to Carnival 74. Now before the show we picked these people right from our studio audience. They're going to be joining me on the midway to win and risk cash and prizes worth thousands of dollars. Say I'm looking for some people to get this first stop on the midway underway. Let's see. How about you John? John how about you and uh, Stephanie would you come right down here please? Excuse me, Mom. no, no, you aren't, you're, you two are married. All right, you two come down here, would you, die? I almost got you divorced. Right here, John, if you will, please. I need some other people. How about uh, Dan and Judy, would you come down here, please? All right, have I got the right married couple now? All right. Dan, would you stand right out here? Almost had a little divorce over here in the John Fernie family. All right. I tell you what, this is a very quick game, and I want you to watch very closely because I'm going to be asking you a question about what you're going to see. Turn around, John, because what you're going to see is right over there with our barker, Johnny Gilbert. Right you are, Tom, and ladies and gentlemen, would you step right up, please? Move in just a little bit closer. What you're about to see is a dazzling assemblage of pulchritude and artistic beauty. I give you a star attraction, Zelda the Tattooed. find a prettier tattooed lady anywhere. John, you can look at me now. I saw you and Dan looking at Zelda, the tattooed lady. It's a good thing you were, because I've got a question to ask you about Zelda. John, I'll ask you, first of all, how many tattoos does Zelda have? Twenty-five. Twenty-five tattoos. Dan, how many tattoos? Don't you be... Uh, uh, how many does she have? Nineteen. Nineteen! Only Zelda knows how many tattoos she has. Let's ask the magic tattooed lady. Zelda, how many tattoos adorn your lovely body? 18! You said 19! You're our first winners on Carnival 74! But, John, and your lovely wife, Diane, nobody goes away a loser on Carnival 74. Here's our own Cupid doll, Barbara, with a Cupid doll for you. Take it and treat it gently, because it's going to be worth something. You'll see about that later in the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Diane. All right. Come down here, Judy, if you will. Judy and Dan Delday, I suppose you're anxious to find out what you've won. I want a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I haven't got one of those for you, but what I have for you is right over here. Take a look. A portable dishwasher. Yes, it's Maytag truck loading dishwasher. Portable now, convertible later to a built-in. From Maytag, the dependability people, and it sells for $369. Well, Judy. Old eagle-eyed Dan won that beautiful portable dishwasher for you, and now I want you to tell me if you'd like to see him take home something like this. Look right back there, if you will, please. A beautiful new pool table. with professional rubber cushions, genuine one-inch slate, and a heavy-duty mahogany frame. It's the Big G from Danby, and it retails for $1,695. Dan and Judy, from the way Barker Johnny handles that cue stick, you know that pool table is still very brand new. Do you shoot pool at all, Dan? A little bit. A little bit. You could shoot a lot of it with that right back. How would you like to take it home? Love it. All right. Now then, let me show you just how you can do that. Let's go with Johnny Gilbert. He's over on the other side of the midway and something very special. John? 
All right, let's see here. Oh, sir, would you step right down here, please? Would you step? What is your name, please? George Mitchell. George Mitchell. George, have you ever hit the high striker on the Carnival Midway before? No. You know how it works, though, right? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give you $25 if you get to cream puff. I'll give you 50 if you get to physical wreck, 75 if you get to weekend athlete, 100 if you get to muscle bound, and if you can ring our bell as Superman, you'll get $200. You want to take a shot at it? Okay, would you step right over here? We've got a mallet for you. Step right back out there, if you will, there. And George, give her a shot. Let's see how well you can do. Well, he's got up to a weekend athlete up there. Just about to but not quite a weekend athlete. And that's about, uh, not bad. That's $75 for you, George. How about hey, that, Tom? Not bad at all. Weekend athlete, almost muscle-bound, got up there to 80. Now then, Judy, a moment ago, your husband... Oh, no, what? I'm not going to ask you to do that. A moment ago, your husband, Dan, won that beautiful portable dishwasher for you. Now, you said you'd like to have your husband take home that pool table. If you do, if you meant what you said, you're going to have to give up your dishwasher and hope your big, strong, muscular husband, Dan, can do better than 80 and get up into the muscle bond, maybe the Superman category on the high striker. Do you think fair. he can? He's been on a diet. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, so far, it's not too successful. <laughs> what do you think, Judy? You want him to try? Yeah. All right, you're going to give up your dishwasher. Dan's going to try for the pool table. Dan, it's all okay. yours. Mama says go there ahead. Go. Good luck to you. One shot. See, he uh, got to a go cream, to cream puff. puff. Yes, he got oh. the cream puff. Dan, you have been on a diet. Put that down before you hurt yourself with it. But listen, our congratulations to you, George. What did we give George? $75? $75, oh, yes. Nice winner. You may be involved in our super sweepstakes race a bit later, but nobody goes away a loser. I'm sorry. No dishwasher, no pool table. How about a beautiful Cupid doll from our Cupid doll, Barbara? And I thanks for being with us on Carnival 74. <laughs> you were right on the time. to have three people who want to make some money. All right, you, you, and you. All right, Betty and Dennis and Shelly. Is that right? That's right. All right. Say, have you ever been to a carnival, been down the midway? You know that you got to get your weight guest one time or another, right? Right. You ever had your weight guest? No. Well, it's going to be guest tonight, I tell you. And I've got something special in addition to that. Every pound that our weight guesser misses you people by, I'm going to pay you $50 a pound. Now, how does that sound to you? Terrific. It sounds terrific. Indeed, it does. All right. Now that if you're ready, Dennis and Betty and Shelly, let's meet our weight guesser here on Carnival 74. Right over there, if you will, please. <laughs> it's oh. Shelly, Dennis, and Betty, watch this step. Come with me, if you will, please. Stand right here. Hello, Ruth. Hi. Welcome to Carnival 74. Thank you. Delighted to have you with us. We have Betty, Hi, we have Dennis, and we have Shelly, and you. you're going to... Are you really a weight guesser? You guessed it. <laughs> did you... Did you hear what I said? <laughs> did you hear what I said to these three people? It's yes, going to cost me $50 a pound for every pound you miss. I'm great at Go it. Go easy on my billfold, will you? Let's start with Betty first. <laughs> Betty, step right up. <laughs> All right. Yes, Betty was made of gasoline. She'd be worth a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a guess. Uh, 175. 170. You may be right, but I think you lost a friend. Would you no, step up no, there, no, Betty? No, no, no. Tell me what it is, Ruth. 184. 84. Nine. Nine fifty dollar bills. Nine fifty four hundred and fifty dollars here, Betty. Step right over here, if you will. $450, weight guesser. Mm. See what you can do with oh. Dennis. Aha, uh -huh. Dennis. Let's see. Let's see. Let's... Yeah, that's good. Make a muscle. Make a muscle. Oh, what would you say if I guessed 98 pounds? Right. <laughs> 98. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Oh. Um, okay, um, uh, 176. 176 <laughs> on the scale goes down. <laughs> no, 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 no. 174. 74. Not bad. Yeah. You're going to get out better. Two pounds off, $100. Oh, yeah. How about Miss Shelley? Would you step Little over here, Shelley? Shelley I will say 
Uh, 111. 111 <laughs> pounds? What does Shelley weigh, Ruth? 100 and all. Uh, 112. 112. Oh. <laughs> and I'll give you fifty dollars because she missed by one pound. Not bad at all. Let's Can see. I go home now? You've got how much money down there? About four hundred and fifty dollars, yeah. I believe. And there's a hundred dollars there and fifty dollars over there. All right, Betty. You may have lost a friend over here, but she guessed your weight. But you do have $450 by fouling up our weight guesser. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if you want to risk that $450 for a chance at this. A jet vacation. And you can for fly coach on Pan Am. The airline that flies to more than 120 cities and 80 countries on six continents. Pan Am, the world's most experienced airline. And you'll be getting to exciting Rio de Janeiro. Yes, it's the home of the world's most famous carnival. All the color and excitement of South America in beautiful Rio. A vacation that's worth $1,850. Now, Betty, you can win that trip to Rio. Here's how you can win it. We're going to turn the tables on our weight guesser, Ruth Buzzy. If you can guess Ruth's weight within five pounds either way... That trip to Rio and the big carnival is yours. What do you want to do? Want to risk your 450? No, I think I'll... You're going to keep your 450. <laughs> All right. Dennis, step over here. Dennis, you've got $100. I'm going to make you the same offer. You can risk that $100. Guess Ruth Buzzy's weight within five pounds either way. Almost a 10-pound spread, really, you know. Risk your $100. What do you want to do for a trip to Rio? <laughs> huh? What do you want to do, Dennis? I'll do it. You're going to do, do it? it? All yeah. right. What do you think Miss Buzzy weighs? Take a look at her. But I'll feel my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't pick her up. You tell me right now what you think Ruth Buzzy weighs within five pounds. Be careful now if you get too much. You go to Sicily. I got connections. Got connections. <laughs> 115. 115 pounds. Daddy, Miss Ruth da, 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 Buzzy steps on the scales. Da, da, da. And Miss Ruth Buzzy weighs 118 pounds. You are Congratulations. <laughs> Betty, congratulations to you with your $450. Shelly, to you with your $50. And remember, you may get a chance to get involved in our super sweepstakes race a bit later on, Dennis. Our thanks to you. You were just great for taking part on Carnival 74. And Ruth, our thanks to you, dear lady. You were Thank magnificent. You. Thank you Neatest very much. little 115-pound package I've ever seen. Oh, you devil. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back with more of Carnival right after this. All contestants getting a cute doll on today's carnival will receive from Samsonite Silhouette Collection a lady's overnight case and a man's carry-on from the first name in luggage, Samsonite. They're worth $69.95. Now, thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, Barbara. You're prettier than the Cupid dolls you give away. You're beautiful. All right. Who'd like to make some easy money on our carnival dartboard game? How about you, Sherry? Who would Sherry like to make some easy money? Sherry, I said this was going to be some easy money, and I really mean it. Come with me over here to our dollar darts board. You walk right up there. Stand right there in that line. Johnny Gilbert go. is handing me the darts. Sherry, take three of those. Be careful now. The points are sharp. Take three of them. Yeah, just, just take three. Easy now. One. They're all the same, so you just take three. You got three? All right. Now, this is a very simple game, dollar darts. One of the simplest games on the midway. Gave you three darts. We have the board right here. Now, you can see it has numbers on it going from 50 through 100. I'm going to pay you a dollar a point as you total them up here. Is that easy money or is that easy money? Fantastic. <laughs> you all set to go? All right. Put your, listen, idle your motor just a little bit and take aim there, Jerry, and go ahead. All right. Johnny, uh, you total them up as we go on here. $89, John. Beautiful. Do you love it? <laughs> all right, Sherry. And $56. Yeah, 89, 56. $145 so far. One more, Sherry. Just throw it there. 100. 
Johnny Gilbert, how much money did Sherry Dean pick up? Two hundred and forty-five dollars. Two hundred and forty-five dollars. Did I tell you that was easy money? All right, two hundred and forty-five dollars. All right, now, Sherry, let me say that I would you like turn around and look at me right here, dear? Yes, that's it. I'm, I haven't left you. I'm right here with. How, what would you say to me if I said I could give you a chance to double that money by just throwing one more dart? Oh, oh I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. You'll do it. <laughs> All right, now here's the dart. You'll notice on the board, don't throw it while I'm in front of you. Please don't do that. There are numbers from 50 to 100 on the board, right? Right. All right. Now, if you can throw that dart in the numbers from 70 to 100, I'm going to double your $245 and give you $490. But... You must land between 70 and 100, the odds are 3 to 2 in your favor. But before you make up your mind, you throw the dart to double your money, and I'm going to toss in this, a gorgeous fur jacket. <laughs> yes, this multicolored mink jacket, edged with leather, is a true fun fur look of the 70s. It's from Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills, and its appraised value is $695. All right, Sherry Dean, you realize you're risking your $245 trying to get $490 in that gorgeous fur jacket. Do you want to throw it? Oh, I always want a fur. All right. Remember, it's got to be in the numbers between 70 and 100. The odds are 3 to 2 in your favor. Take dead aim. Oh, yes, you'll be just fine, Sherry. Good luck to you now. She's ready, I think. Between 70 and 100, the odds are 3 to 2 in her favor. That's right. $490 in a fur jacket. She's ready. She's set. She's going to throw it. Ninety-three. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, turn around. Here's your fur jacket. Is it beautiful? Four hundred and ninety dollars and a fur jacket. I might remind you, Sherry, that you'll have a chance to take part in our super sweepstakes race. And from Cupid dolls to fur jackets, that's the way it goes on Carnival '74. <laughs> for somebody who wants to play a fun game. Phil, oh, Phil, how about you? Phil Burdick. All right. Oh, Priscilla, your wife, oh, Priscilla, get all right, fine. Hold it, stay right here with me now. Come here, Phil. <laughs> I've seen a lot of anxious people on the midway, but Phil and Priscilla Burdick. All right, fine. I've got a fun game for you two to play. In just a moment, I'm going to let you take a look at it. But first, if you can play it well, this is what I'm going to give you. Take a look back there. A complete new kitchen. <laughs> Refrigerator freezer, dishwasher, fresh compactor, range, washer and dryer, and a root air conditioner. All seven appliances sell for $2,400. Yeah. $2,400 worth of beautiful kitchen appliances, and all you have to do to win it is play a simple game with me. Priscilla, give me your hand. Phil, come right along here and come down with me. Stand right up close, and this is our carnival for plunk game. Oh, says Priscilla. Seen one of these before? Now, as you can see, the only thing keeping those balls from hitting the bottom of that cylinder are these sticks. Now, what you're going to have to do is pull out three of those sticks without letting more than three of those balls fall to the floor. If more than three fall, you lose. But before you pull that first stick, I'm going to give you $100. No, I'm not, because I haven't got it with me. Yes, I have. You thought I didn't have 100 I got a pocket full of money. There you are with $100. No matter what happens on that first stick, I'm going to let you keep that $100, okay? Okay. All right. Now then, who's going to pull the first stick? Who wants to pull it? Oh. oh. All right, Phil, you're it. Now, Phil. I'd rather hold the I know you would. I tried to hold as long as I could. Phil, walk around there and take a look. Now, I must caution you. Whatever stick you touch, you're going to have to pull that. So look at it quickly and tell me which one you want to pull first. Remember now, we don't need balls to fall. No more than three. What do you, what is this, Priscilla? You, you can help out. I might help out. Which one? You're going for this rascal up here, that one right there? Phil? Phil? Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil, pick one for me. That one, you're going to pull it. I'll hold on and you pull it. Go ahead, pull it, Phil. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> Come over here, Phil. All right. He's not bad at that, Priscilla. All right, listen. 
You've still got two more. Don't be dancing away from me. You've still got two more sticks to pull. Maybe you can do it to win that kitchen, and maybe you can't. Now, if you want to take that $100 and quit, I'm going to sweeten the pot a bit by giving you this. Take a look right over here. A color television set. Yes, from Toshiba America, a 13-inch portable color television with the new black stripe color picture tube. Toshiba in touch with tomorrow, and it sells for $370. All right, Phil and Priscilla, do you want to keep that $100 and that color TV set and quit? Or do you want to go ahead? You've got to pull two more sticks, no more than three balls. If you go ahead, you're risking the color TV and the $100. What do you want to do? Hey, the one of you. You're going to pull it? All right, Phil's going to do it again. All right, Phil, quickly, if you will, step right up there. Yes, you can look it all over from all sides. I'll get right down here with you. Come on, Phil, get in there and... Which one? Phil, they're not pulling it for you. You are. Get in here. Which one, Phil? Which one? That one right there, that purple one? All right, Phil, pull it. Pull it. Pull it, Philip, pull it. Pull it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Phil and Priscilla, two sticks gone, one more to go, and if you can pull it without three balls falling, that $2,400 worth of kitchen appliances is yours, but in case you're not too sure that you can get that done with one more pull of the stick, tell you what, offered your color television set a moment ago and a $100 bill and going to up the offer. Turn around and look right back over there if you will. What you see is a fabulous stereo component system. From Radio Shack, outstanding sound on FM, records and cassette tapes with this complete realistic brand music system from Radio Shack. It's all worth $1,044. All right, Philip and Priscilla, turn around, stand up close. Make decisions for you folks. Now, you understand I'm offering you the color TV set, the $100 bill you've got in your hand, that stereo component system, all of it's yours, $1,500 and more of cash and merchandise. We'll call it quits right now. But if you go on, you're risking it all. You must pull one more stick, no balls to fall, or no more than three, and you win the kitchen appliances. What do you want to do? You're going to do what? You're going to pull one more? You're going to go one more. All right, Phil, get over there and pull that last stick. And good luck to you. Remember, no more than three balls. Which one are you going for? He doesn't want that one. Which one? Which one? That one right there. All right, Phil, Priscilla, good luck to you. Pull the stick. For $2,400 worth of kitchen appliances, will he win it or will he not? Pull it, Phil. One. Keep pulling it. Two. You've done it. Three balls. And that's it. Congratulations to the winner of Carnival 34. Bill and Priscilla, congratulations, enjoy it in good health, and thanks for stopping by on Carnival 74. <laughs> Now it's time to see if two of today's carnival winners want to give up what they've won in the super sweepstakes race. If anybody can pick today's sweepstakes winner, they're going to get our super grand prize, which is worth today $4,625. <laughs> Phil and Priscilla Burdick, $2,400 worth of kitchen appliances. You want to take a chance? We need to go. All right, fine. Enjoy the kitchen in good health. All right. Dennis Harrison, you had some money you won. Do you want to take a chance on our super sweepstakes race? What do you say, Dennis? No. No, Dennis is going to hold on to the money. Sherry Dean across the way with the beautiful fur and some cash money. You want to take a chance on this week, Okay, Sherry, Sherry, that's beautiful. Oh, Betty Riddle, $450. I remember, Betty. Do you want to take a chance? You better believe it. All right, fine. We've got our contestants. We'll be back with the big race right after this. <laughs> All right, here I stand with Sherry and Betty. Sherry's the answer to the energy crisis. She just bounces. Here's how the super sweepstakes race is going to work. There are three horses in the race. This is Check Arena, horse number one. Candy Stripes is horse number two. And Polka Dotty is horse number three. In my hands are 30 computer program cards, and each is individually computerized to uh, have a completely different race than the outcome right here. Naturally, then, each horse has an equal opportunity for coming in first. Do you understand that? <laughs> 
<laughs> now, if you should pick a horse and it comes in third, this is what you're going to win. Take a look right over there. Lovely cookware. Handsome Le Creuset cookware imported from France. Colorful cast iron. Le Creuset creams as easily as China and it sells for $341. Yeah. All right, Sherry and Betty, should your horse come in second, girls, this is what you'll take home. May we open the curtains, please? A big new home entertainment center. Yes, it's Philco Forge 25 in color TV home theater combination. Case player, record changer, and six speakers, and it sells for $1,400. Jerry and Betty, if you pick the horse that wins, you're going to get the super grand prize of the day, and that's worth $4,625. And we'll show you what that is right after we show you the race. Now then. Miss Bouncing Sherry, you're giving up the fur jacket and the money you won in our darts game. You're risking the most, so I'm going to ask you to pick a horse. Which one do you want? Number two. Number two. She wants horse number two, Candy Stripes. Would you stand right back there, Sherry, and good luck to you. All right. Now, Betty Riddle, we have Check Arena and we have Polka Dotty left. Which one do you want? I'll take number one. Number one, Check Arena. Would you go over and stand behind Check Arena, if you will, please? Now then. Sherry, you gave up the most, got to choose horses first. Betty, I'm going to give you the opportunity to determine the outcome of the race. Pick one of those computer cards for me, please, if you will. Any one at all, hold it right there. All right, give it to me. Fine, I'll put the rest of them down. Take this one right here and properly put it in the computer and lock it into place. Only the computer knows what the outcome of this race is going to be. Remember now, all you people in the audience, everybody holding a ticket, well, let's see, for one of the horses in the race, if your horse wins, you're going to get today's Cupid Doll prize. Remember that. How many over here have got Czech Arena? Yeah. All right, how about Polka Dottie over there? Yeah. How about Polka Dottie over here? Yeah. How about Candy Stripe? <laughs> To all of you and to our contestants, we wish you the best of luck. Uh-oh, the trumpet sounds, the horses are in the gate, and they're off. <laughs> Going to the front, it looks like a three-horse race, making the turn into the back stretch. Polk Gadotti is in front by about a neck. Candy Stripes is second. Check Arena coming up fast on the outside, and now Candy Stripes has taken the lead. Into the turn, heading for home. It's Candy Stripes by two legs. Here comes Check Arena off the wire. Check Arena is the winner. Arena is the winner. Candy strikes the second, and Pesca Dottie came in third. All right, the third place horse was Polka Dotty, no winner there. Second place, Candy Stripes goes to Sherry, and Sherry, the beautiful home entertainment center is yours. Congratulations. <laughs> and Miss Betty Riddle picked Check Arena, and Check Arena won it right at the wire, coming from behind. Betty, today's super grand prize will thrill you no end. Take a look this way, if you will, please. Worth $4,625. A brand new The Pontiac Firebird, the sports car for those who take the excitement of driving seriously. The wine track people do have a way with cars. Fully loaded with tax and license included, it sells for $4,625. And to all of you who held winning tickets on Czech Arena, our congratulations. And to you, Sherry, and of course to you, Betty. And that'll do it for Carnival 74 today. We want you to tune in tomorrow for more fun, more excitement, including Zilcho, the sword swallower. See you then. Bye-bye. Betty, come with me. Go on, Sherry. Watch your head. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.